Now as you can see there is an empty spot uh, in my workbench and that's because I've just received a new toy. Now I just go ahead and do the final cut and yes I'm using a uh, DDR stick of RAM because it cuts really nicely as you can see and it's full of peanuts great ah, we're going to have a mess on the floor uh, let me see if I can get them out now I've managed to take it out of all of those uh, uh, peanuts and there are quite a lot of them it's a really deep box and it's all full of those plastic peanuts but here is my new toy. I was not expecting it to be so deep. Uh, I was expecting it to be heavy though. But it seems like it survived shipping. So let me unwrap it and we'll take a closer look. Alright, here it is. My HP 6002A 200 watt DC power supply. And well, I like it. it seems like it's all in great shape. All the meters are good. They are nice and centered. Uh, the only problem I've started to see is that there's a crack onto one of those uh, um, handle blocks thingies. But since I'm not going to carry it around, it's not going to be that big of a deal. The other problem I see is that um, the service manual recalls for a configuration onto those wires. So even if this uh, power supply is running standalone so it's not connected to a network of other power supplies this should still be populated with some wires so I don't know why but the, the seller said that it works so I may try it without and then if it works nicely I will remake the loom I'm just starting to take a little sneak peek into the innards of this beauty and boy what a big capacitor wonder what happens if it pops plugged in my fluke meter and the pa and I plugged the power supply to the mains and I'm not so sure if this uh, device here has got a fan in it or and or how it's controlled so I don't know if it will make a lot of noise or not but let's see first time ever uh, turning it on Alright, it's got a fan. It's not super duper loud though. Let's try cranking up the voltage. Yeah, 10 volts sounds good. And we're getting 9.33 out. So yeah, the, it's a bit off. 9.8, I all got crank up the current maybe. Let's see. Love those multi turn pots. Okay, so current is up all the way. Let's go to 20 volts, and now we're at 1982. So yeah, it's a bit off, but yeah, wow, it's really fine pot. I love it. Really nice. I can really tweak it quite a bit. That is lovely. I can just get down to 20 volts and here it's a bit over. So yeah, it needs a bit of tweaking, but overall, I'm happy with it. I also want to try the crowbar protection or this one, or uh, this little trim pot hidden in there. So let's say I want to, uh, let's say my power supply must stop if I go over 30 volts. So I'm going to set it to lock down whenever it reaches that. It's been now quite a bit. Oh, there we went. And we're having nothing in the output. Brilliant! Now, just to be sure, let's just try cranking up the voltage. And we'll see the crowbar will act and shut the wall rail down. There we go. Perfect. And it's now time for a load test. Um, this one here was a, re a resistor from a heater, the really old one. I'm gonna crank the current all the way up because I want to try current limiting later on. Fire up the power supply. 
yet again and uh, let's start increasing the voltage and as you can see the ammeter is going a bit up and this is gonna be a really high scale ammeter because it would have been supplying well juice yeah, that's just starting to get a bit hot. No, not really. Yeah, it's not being too big. So yeah, I'll keep it on the high side. I'm actually quite inclined to take out... Wait, maybe I've just got an open circuit. Oh, let's see. Mm. Now, the resistor was a bit of a failure. So I decided to step up a notch and plug in this fan. Uh, it's a fairly special fan. It runs at 12 volts like all the others, but it takes 2.8 amps and it moves quite a bit of air. Uh, so let's try it out. Uh, I got my voltage down, current is midway because I want to try current limiting it, but I don't think it's gonna work that well. Uh, let's try it up. Let's reach those uh, 12 volts. Fan is just starting to spin up. There we go. Now I can see the ammeter is going up. Wow, that's a big fan. That's two amps. Really good. Unfortunately, I cannot try current limiting it because both of my amps are full. And if I let go of this amp here, uh, there's a big chance that this fan here is going to fly off and uh, destroy something. So the safest thing to do right now is to turn the power supply off. I, uh, I found a way to hold this beast in place so I can try current limiting it. I've set it to 12 volts using my fluke. I'm going to turn the current way up. Now I'm going to switch on the supply again. So we'll see the fan will start to spin up. And current raise. All right. Now let's see if we can limit it. No, not yet. Oh, here we go. It is really taming that fan down. Brilliant. I think now the fan wasn't able to spin, so turned off because I can just get a bit of extra current yeah as you can see it starts back up again excellent now unfortunately this summer is not that hot found the ultimate cooling fan because it really blows Quite a bit of air. It's worth noting that when I got um, near the airflow of this fan, my iPhone switched from the microphone that's uh, between the camera lens and the flash to the microphone that's close to the lightning port, and it made quite a big sound difference. Let's see if I can replicate that. So I'm just gonna put the camera right in front of the airflow. Telephone microphone. Of course, I will open this power supply, but I'll do that in a separate video. So stay tuned for that. Now, I've sanded incorrectly about the missing wiring in the back, because actually there is, and there are those little metal strips. So, I thought that there were wire coming off of all over the place, but HP did it in a very clean way, so that is really nice. Now, so the only thing that I'm not seeing right now is that um, 8 ohm resistor but I think I'm going to leave it as it is because I don't think that anybody touched it I've also spoke about um, 
a big blue cap that's on the other side and I thought that that was huge but those two wow those are really big I wonder how much will cost me if I will ever have to replace them because those are really big capacitors huge wow well I'd say that this is an amazing power supply I really like it I, I can really see the high quality that HP put into it uh, it's a fairly old supply but for me it's more than plenty and I think that it will stay with me forever because I, it's, it's gonna be quite hard breaking it really